stop creating boring projects. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take video and turn it into an exciting and engaging motion graphic sequence right here inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. This tutorial is all about applying different levels of creative techniques to help you enhance your work. So we're gonna take a boring standard video with a title and turn it into an exciting graphic sequence. So be sure to drop a like on this video, it helps us out tremendously, and let's get started. All right, so here we have a video and a title here in our After Effects composition. And the question is, how do we make this interesting in a somewhat of a promo fashion, but also be able to convey some information uh, as well? So there's a lot of techniques. We'll go through this one to turn something that's just very basic into something a little bit more exciting. All right, so the first tip here is talking about custom video size. So you don't have to go with a full screen 1920 by 1080 video. You can come here, grab the rectangle tool, we can come here and draw out a box to dictate the size of the video. Then we can take the shape layer, make sure it's right above the video layer, and we'll toggle switch the modes. And when we see track mat, set the track mat for the video layer to alpha mat. Then we take the shape layer and we can move it anywhere in the composition, and you're gonna have a custom shape. So a further example here is we can use this technique to wedge our video between two graphics here by creating custom shapes. Uh, so that's pretty cool, we'll expand on this in a second. So next up, we're gonna talk about creating these long seamless titles here uh, to add some additional information uh, for your project. So to create this, we'll grab the text title tool and we'll type out a title. So this could say whatever you want it to say. And when your title's typed out, you just go to layer, pre-compose, you can call it seamless title and click okay. And we go into that composition and we go to composition, composition settings, and we bring in the width here to just close down onto the edges of the title. You know, like that looks great. And then we'll go back to the previous composition. And then we, you know, we can scale this down by hitting us on keyboard, scale this down, and then go to effect, uh, stylize, and grab motion tile. And come here to output width and expand that. And to make this simple, we can just alt click the stopwatch for tile center. And this will allow us to type an expression. We'll do open bracket, time, asterisk, maybe 50, comma, value open bracket, one, close bracket. And this will allow this to animate. Now to make this faster, we can just change this number to be a greater number. So maybe we'll do 500. And now we'll have the seamless crawl across our composition. So we can make this look better. So for example, we have a transparent background right now, but we'll add something later. We can take our seamless title, we can bring it up here, and then we'll come here to the rectangle tool here at the top, make sure nothing is selected, and we can just draw a black box like so. Put it underneath our seamless title. And you know, maybe we'll change the color of the seamless tile by going to Effect, Generate, Fill, and we'll select a really cool color here. And we'll take both these layers on our timeline, go to Edit, Duplicate, and we'll bring them down here. And we can just change the direction of our seamless title by hitting U twice on keyboard with that uh, duplicated layer selected. And we can put a negative in front of the number there, and this will animate it in the opposite direction. So now we're looking pretty cool. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics from scratch takes so much time and it's just challenging. To help you get work done in under a minute, we have produced over 10,000 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. For example, in our Pulse Pack, you can preview these really cool templates and then apply them to your project. From there, you can change the settings to your needs and bam, another project complete. To see all of our templates and start saving time right now, be sure to check our links below. All right, so now let's talk about some background techniques to make this stand out. So what we can do is maybe take our video layer, we can just duplicate it, bring it underneath everything, and we'll scale it back up. And this time around, we'll go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and we'll grab a Gaussian Blur, and we'll just blur this out. This is a really popular technique where you take the existing video and you just blur it out uh, on the background. So you might see this a lot on social media when the aspect ratio doesn't fit the social media platform. But then you hit tier and keyboard for opacity, we can lower down the opacity down to like this, say 20-ish percent. And this will give a little bit of just background design in there. Very subtle, right? So we'll add some extra effects in here to really make the stand out. So what we can do here is duplicate our seamless title, but let's not duplicate it in the timeline. Let's right click our seamless title, go to uh, reveal and click on reveal layer source and project. Here's that composition and we can duplicate it in the project panel and import it into our timeline right above our background video. Let's go into that composition there and we can click the text layer and we can swap the fill and stroke and this will give us a stroke uh, version of our title. So well, this will look great when it's all said and done. And then we can come here, copy our motion tile effect and just paste it onto uh, that title seamless layer. Then you can duplicate that seamless title a bunch of times uh, and then offset them in your composition. It'll create a really cool background. Plus when you go into back in that composition, you can change the title to say something else. You know, for example, I changed the word and it doesn't affect the original uh, title as well. 
So the next technique is to kind of dirty up your work. And what I mean by that is adding some little cool graphics that can pop in and out of there. It's up to you if you want to add these because right now this is very clean, but we want to maybe add a little extra detail and spice to this. So we can just grab our textile tool and we can type out the plus symbol. And all we have to do here is trim out the out point of this to only be a few frames long. So this symbol will only be up for a little bit. And then we can come here, we can take this layer, duplicate it, move it randomly around our comp and just do this a bunch of times because it'll look like it's kind of animating, but there is no animation, right? Uh, it'll be jumping around the composition when we're all said and done here. All right, so when you have a handful of these randomly around your composition, all you do is just offset them in your timeline, uh, just randomly, just click and move them over. So now we have a handful of plus symbols here, randomly animating our composition. I actually colored a few of these to be the primary color of our work here. And then once all of a sudden done, you take all your pluses and you can pre-compose them if you wish to do that. Now, if you're curious how we created this circle title, it's super simple to do it. All you need to do is take a title that you have typed out and you come here, grab the ellipse tool and you just draw out a circle mask like so. And you go ahead and set the mask to none. You open up the text layer, you go to path options, you set that path to mask one and you turn on reverse path. So it'd be on the outside. And very simply, you, know, you take your word, you copy it, you add a space and you just paste it in there, you know, however many times you wish the word to be on there. And then it's all said and done. You control double click the pan behind tool to make sure the anchor point is the center. You hit R and keyboard for rotation. You all click the stopwatch and you type in time asterisk, you know, maybe 20 or something. And this will constantly be rotating. All right, let's say that you've taken these techniques and you went ahead and created multiple slides. Maybe you're putting together a promo or whatever, and you have a completely different, you know, slide here. So what we can do to transition over to one of these slides very quickly, we, so we can take one of the slides uh, you can move it randomly inside your timeline and bring it underneath the original one. And we come here to layer new null object and we parent both these comps to the null. So at one second, we'll have our first slide up and then we'll go to our null object, hit parent keyboard for position, add a keyframe and we'll move forward maybe by a half a second and we can just Y position uh, the null up to reveal on the second slide. And then of course, make them easy ease by hitting F9 keyboard, those keyframes, go to the graph editor and we can just scoot these in. And then never forget to turn on motion blur when doing this because it's going to make a big difference in your work. And now you're able to take these techniques and you can put together as many different slides as you need to build out a really cool video here inside of After Effects. So just like a lot of our other videos where we go through techniques, always be thinking about how you can use these techniques in different ways for different types of projects. And as always, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro template packs. Those links are below. And always be creative.